Yeah, holy! What's gonna produce your boy Roman Puss here with Coco Me Mains, the number one Coco Me Main here, ready to go on a budget though. To show you guys how to play her, what's going on, we got the new artifact set going. So I'm gonna show you the different type of options that you have for builds on her, how she works, and everything to know about the Coco Me Queen God. Now this is my number one, probably favorite character in all of Genshin, I would probably say. So. I've been going ham on her and I'm going to be limit testing and doing everything. So I can't wait to dive into this artifact set. I've been grinding to the artifacts that just came out today and I have spent at least 15 fragile resin on this already and I am getting hard shafted, but I also got one God piece as well. So let's dive in. Let's look. Side note, I do stream on Twitch several days a week. So if you're down to that link is down in the description. I really appreciate it. That'd be cool too. If you're not into that thing, that's fine too. But let's move in and let's go on about Coco. Oh my God, here we are, you guys, my queen in all of her beautiful perfection, goodness, greatness. Here she is. Who, who what she is, she hydro healer, sub DPS even, maybe even full DPS, whatever you choose to consider her. I'm going to kind of go over her. First, her basic attack is one, two, three sequence. Basically, flings three fishes at each other and just kind of does the thing like that. It's pretty neat. -o. Next is her Jigolo fish that she summons, the Kurage's Oath. Yeah, Kurage's Oath. God, I, I thought for some reason I thought I said that wrong. Uh, basically, just you summon out a jellyfish. It does damage periods of times about every few seconds, and it riffles about six times and heals for a percentage of her HP. So the more HP you have, the more heals you're going to be doing, and you're going to be stacking HP. And with a pretty like 20 second cooldown, but it gets extended while you run your burst, which is in a second and 12 second duration. So it runs every two seconds, roughly. And it actually, like, this, like your damage isn't, like, whatever, but you don't really focus on the damage part of that. You pretty much just use it to throw out and heal yourself, and you're good to go. Next is Nereids, Nereids Ascension. Uh, this imb imbues you in a cloak that gives you increased basic attacks. So you do, like, a 1, 2, 3, and does, it goes based off your HP and healing percentage. And then your third one goes off a bigger chunk of your HP percentage. Damage is pretty fat. Basically, this is where you stack HP. You'll do... Tons of damage. Shout out. I'm going to even show you guys it's possible to do the 12th floor of the abyss with Kokomi solo, just like I like one, obviously, because it's one party. So it is possible to do it to her. I shout out to Bad Amber Main. <laughs> Their channel will be pinned in the description below. They actually did the 12th floor. I'm going to run it too, but they're the one that I got the idea from. So I just make sure they get the credit. So they actually pulled the Kokomi with the new artifact set. They actually did the 12th floor abyss with just Coco Me, just like one round and they nine started it, which is actually insane with that. So Coco Me just being able to solo that is crazy. If you add ball, if you add something like Bennett, give her a little extra damage. If you add all these other like elemental interactions, maybe even sucrose, just different things to give her more insane damage, you'll be nutty. So Coco Me as a whole is like a really well-rounded character just because she doesn't giga scale with crit and crit damage. It's okay, which I forgot to mention that specifically. She has minus 100 crit, so you'll notice that. It is what it is. Uh, she doesn't need it. Yeah, yeah, the minus crit. I unfortunately have some shafted stat pieces, so you don't really want to go for those. Uh, weapons. Things you want to focus for for weapons. Now, I went ham because I loved Kokomi, so I went ham for the whale weapon. That is okay. Obviously, this is one of the better weapons that you could get for her. This is probably the best but it's not the one that you absolutely need the thrilling tale of dragon slayers now this is yes it's a three star it's actually going to be easier to get because it's a three star but you can definitely use this one it's viable it gives you the hp percent uh and it works perfectly fine with Kokomi. so this is probably your second best option with her just because it gives you the hp percent it works with well with her damage and it overall is probably your, like it's really cheap and excellent utility so if you don't have the five star whale weapon the donut definitely go with this i would recommend definitely like 10 out of 10 so Works well, probably maybe not 10 out of 10, but it definitely is your better option if you have this. All right, here we are going to test Solo Kokomi with the Maidens and Hydro of the Depths. We're going to test her out and see how she performs at Talent 9 with my burst. Let's see. Let's see. Test this. Let's see. Let's see. 9K. Okay. 9k. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll see what happens when we run. The ocean's wade. I love that set. It's so convenient. 2.6. So you go from 2.6k to 9k on Coco damage. All right, you guys, here is the other set that I was talking to you guys about. Now, I know you guys are going to harp on me about my artifact sets that I have, 
currently. And the last set that you guys saw, I had 39k HP. This one I have up to 37k HP with some things that can change. Almost about the same HP, but I definitely have can grind out more. Remember, this is just a beginning base set. This, I was able to get 10% HP on this. Obviously, if I can get all the rules into HP, it'll be even nuttier. I wanted to just kind of level this up just to get a base stat going. Unfortunately, it still has crit rate on it. Yes, I'll work on getting different ones of those. This one I just picked up. Luckily, gave me 10% HP. If I can get four rolls into this, that'll give me 20% HP each, which will significantly increase the HP. You obviously want to stack HP and attack percents never going to hurt you on Coco Me. And if you can get a flat HP, it's not terrible. Unfortunately, I did roll into there once. It is what it is. Uh, remember this is you do want the four piece because you want all of this shebang basically what this does is gives you a little orb you'll see it when i'm playing uh it stacks up and then it goes off your healing percentage and then goes boom bursts out and does fat damage so we got this uh this one unfortunately i don't know this would be godlike on like i don't know who if it was like attack percent i could use it on so many other people like this would be like decent i mean it didn't actually roll that crazy so i guess it wouldn't be that crazy but it's enough because it rolled into attack percent this one, my off piece, I'm using hydro damage, give me attack or HP percent. It would be nice to have a little attack percent on here. So hydro cups are a little bit kind of more difficult to work with. I'm still kind of grinding those out, working on it. Uh, healing bonus. I think this is almost like as good as I'm going to get. I have like HP and attack percent and a flat HP. This is about the best Kokomi set you could ever have in your entire life. I don't know how I got this. This is like fantastic. Obviously. A little less defense and like a little more into the HP percent would be better, but it is what it is. Remember, HP percent is your number one site that you want to go on Coco Me, except for like this one you need hydro damage. But yeah, so that'll work. And the healing bonus you want because it's going to give you the healing bonus is going to go after this stat. So this basically goes the HP recovered from healing. Your healing is about the same currently. It was before I leveled up the stats. Now that I have the increased stats, it's actually working out really well. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to fight this Pyro Reggie's Vine. I'm going to show you guys how much I've been doing. I basically one shot the new artifact set that we have against that big wolf guy who's actually decently tanky. If you have Coco Meat with Ball, you can basically nearly one shot it. It's actually insanely disgusting. She's nutty. I love me some Coco Meat. Now watch for the little orb that pops up when I pop when I start doing this. Once I start doing damage, let me get rid of this. All right. Yep. Okay. Let me mess up a little bit. Okay. Come on, bro. There we go. All right. There's the little orb. You see the orb to my left hand side. Okay. So we're doing actually pretty good damage. Oh my God. 7k, 7k, 8k. And we get that. Oh my God. And wait for the big thing to burst. I didn't see the burst. Oh my God. I don't want to redeem that. Pretty, pretty solid. So it gives you a little extra damage and it goes again every three seconds, I believe. The artifact set. So it's a cooldown of... 3.5 seconds so that works and it goes i think it's every three, three for three seconds will appear it'll stack up for three seconds up to the damage and then it'll go on cooldown it'll be produced every 3.5 seconds so it'll stack up for three seconds it'll go on cooldown for 3.5 seconds and then you can stack it back up for three seconds and it'll go burst again so the highest i've gotten from it is about 30k which is actually a pretty significant uh increase in damage so a little of that on the passive damage is going to be nutty so that's our Kokomi Chan, and which we're going to step into. Actually, I want to move over. All right, you guys. So floor 12, solo Kokomi. I got this idea from Bad Amber Mains. I'm going to leave his YouTube down in the description. So be sure to go follow him. He actually did it first. So I just want to give you guys and show you guys demonstrate the ability of Kokomi Chan to be able to do this. So this is by no means like my idea, but I'm going to take it in. I just wanted to show you guys and demonstrate this first. So let me just throw one member into here. Alpito. Perfect. Kokomi is actually amazingly she's got the built-in sustain she's got enough damage uh elemental skill probably yeah all right here we go all right so we got these nerds let's see so 2k damage now watch what happens when i burst let's see so look at look at 11k from the little healy guys all right now let's burst let's see how much damage we're doing 14k right there boom oh my god we're doing fat deepages, fat deepages, baby. Now we do have six opponents. This is like, look at that, pretty easy. People say Kokomi didn't do deeps before. People were sharding on Kokomi just because she can't crit. You don't need the crit. That's the thing. If you get ball on her, she can actually like out DPS Zhao on single target, single target. She's not AOE, so keep that in mind. I actually already almost had my burst fully up again. So pretty decent. Like Kokomi's actually kind of bustling. It's nutty. This little extra damage from the heal thing is insane. And I'm permanently full HP too, so that's another thing. Where'd they go? There they are. All right. 
and your giga tanky too so you don't have to worry about ever dying because you're not repping your little half hp like all these other dudes all right pretty low god they actually hit me pretty decently this is insane like you can just sit here and face tank these people and i love it okay and you know how that actually one shots like that I just hit 6k and i didn't even fully charge that bad boy oh my god all right oh my god um Poor management of stamina. Let me get, actually charge this up. Okay, so one, two. Holy moly. Okay. Here we go. Get juked, nerds. Alright, let me see if I can keep bursting these kids. If I can get one more burst, I should be able to actually kill them pretty easily. It does take a minute, but she's actually nutty. Oh my god, Coco Chan busting. Now, let's be real. Who else be doing this? Don, you actually might be able to do it. Actually, no, I don't even think anyone. Let's be real. Who else is going to be doing this much deepages? Boom! Free low. Full HP to everybody. Oh my god, look at you hit for 7k, 7k, 8k. Now, this isn't even fully max potential. I can still get more HP substats. These aren't even godlike artifacts. These aren't like super whale. I've been grinding them out, yes, but they're not super whale artifacts. So, kind of busting. Oh my god. Yes, free low, free low. All right, you guys, that is our Kokomi overall build and guide. I definitely, the new set is the way to go. You can hit upwards of 30k on that bonus hit for that healing percentage. It is disgusting. So obviously it multiplies with the amount of people that you're healing. So if you're healing four people instead of just the one like I was on the 12th floor, then it will increase drastically. So think about that like that. It's going to be insane. Remember, it does overhealing does count. So if you're full HP and you're still healing people, it does count. So when you're on elemental burst, it actually stacks and will do even more. So you can out DPS a lot of the DPSs, given your time is shorter. So you do have a little bit limited time. So obviously the DPSs will serve their purpose as DPSs. And she's not going to outshine them, but she does heal. She has all that utility and she's tanky is another thing. So you don't even truly need a shielder, which kind of makes her shine. So that overall is my Coco Me guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. She, I think, is going to be an amazing unit. So many people, like, dumpster on her, and I don't think she's nearly as bad as people be saying. So, Kokomi, I think, is definitely one of the best. If not one of the, like, well, besides Bennett, obviously, because he can heal and increase other people's damage. But I think Kokomi, I think, I'm personally going to say she's second. But maybe that's because I have all the perfect setup for her. So, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe if you did. Check me out on Twitch. I do stream on that a couple days a week if you want to, if you're into that. But that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to be taking off. Yeah, holy. Peace, beautiful people.